What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it again with some brand new WWE action figure fix-ups. If you guys don't remember, last week we had Ringside Fest 2021. We had two days of reveals, and I think overall the whole feeling of it was kind of disappointing. I feel like the overall feel of it was kind of like people were just kind of disappointed or let down in the outcome of it. They felt that maybe we should have seen more, or maybe you didn't like everything that was revealed. Or That's just kind of the, the feeling that I got. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. However, I'm going to take some of those figures here today and I'm going to explain some fix-ups that you may want to do or try when we get these figures in hand and we break them all down, man. So let's go ahead and dive into it, man. Let's run through these figures. I'm going to give you some fix-up ideas that maybe you want to run through when we assess these figures and get them in hand finally. So let's go ahead and start off with the ringside exclusive SummerSlam Undertaker. Now, there's a lot of things we can do with this. You guys know that they did reveal that you could take the, take the top down on this thing and reveal the stomach tattoo of the Undertaker with been waiting on an Undertaker like this forever. So the first thing that I was thinking of, man, I cannot stand this head sculpt. This is the Undertaker as Kane head sculpt ringside exclusive head that they've used on the Ultimate Edition. They used it on the Undertaker as Kane. I want to say they used it on another Undertaker as well. And I just don't like this head sculpt, man. I'm going to switch it out with the WrestleMania 35 basic Undertaker. And that's the like longer hair version, but it still has that like brownish red color that the Undertaker had around this point. And I like it better. If you put the uh, band, not the bandana, but the toboggan or the beanie over that and everything like that, I think it would be really, really sweet and it would match what he looked like on that night better than this head sculpt. I just don't care for the Undertaker's he cane head sculpt. I just think it's eh. And if you didn't want to do that or you want to play around with some other swaps, another cool swap I think would be to torso swap it with a tights Undertaker. So take that tattooed torso with the BSK on there and put it on a tights Undertaker, maybe the Elite 8 or maybe one of those Undertakers. And then you can still have the gimmick with the, you know, the pulling the straps up. That way you can get a tights Undertaker with the tattoo revealed. I think that would be really cool as well. So that's the two little fix-ups that I had right there. And that's probably the two best, to be honest with you. Like, you could make an 08 to 2011 version of Undertaker with that BSK on the tights right there. I think that would be a really sweet fix-up as well. If we're moving things along, guys, let's get into the Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan figure. I tried to think of a Mr. T one, but nothing was really coming to my brain. So let's go ahead and get into this Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan. So what I would say for this man is I would head swap this thing with the Survivor Series Elite. I think the Survivor Series Elite just doesn't capture the likeness quite like this Ultimate Edition. Take one of those Ultimate Edition head sculpts, spread them out amongst your collection, and put them on the Survivor Series Elite. I think that would look so sick, especially with maybe the crazy, you know, the crazy ice head sculpt there. Uh, I would say put it on other Hogans, but you guys know they gave him the super tan, you know, the super tan look. So you're only going to be, be able really to put these on the Survivor Series Hulk Hogan or the other Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan. So that's kind of your only options at this moment until we get more Hulk Hogan Elites or Ultimate Editions. So that's kind of what we're limited to. You can't really do anything else with them because the skin tones don't match unless you're going to do some painting, which kind of, you know, that's not what this video is about. It's more about just swapping parts, figuring things out that way, and figuring out a great formula. So I would say head swapping with the Survivor Series Elite would be really, really sweet. Another head swap I would do, guys, is the Scarlet Elite. You guys know that I wasn't really feeling this head sculpt with the Scarlet figure. So all I would say is just head swap it with the basic Scarlet, right? The basic Scarlet, whether you choose the, the Chase figure or the regular edition, one has the white hair, one has the blonde hair. I think they're the same head sculpt, right? They're the same head sculpt, except one has the white hair and one has the blonde hair. Either one, I don't think you can really go wrong with either one, but just putting one of those on this is going to make it a lot better in my opinion. And I honestly think like the hair down would look better. I don't know. We, we can see about that, but I just don't see Scarlet in the elite head sculpt. I'm not seeing that light. Lightness. So for those reasons, I'm going to switch the head sculpt with the basic just to play around with it. You know, it, it should be relatively easy. We'll see what it looks like. If it looks like trash, we can always trash it. But that's something that I definitely want to try out. Next up is the same Elite Ray from that same wave of the Scarlet. And this Ray Mysterio Elite, it's the same head sculpt as the Elite 72 and the top talents. So I would say switch it out. You know, get us a different Ray head sculpt in here. I only could find really two versions to do this with. And you're seeing the two orange Ray Mysterio basic head sculpts. Now, I'm not a fan of either of these basic head sculpts, honestly. But I just would like to play around with it 
see if they look good on there. You could always pop them on there. If they look trash, again, you could take them off. But I felt like this would break it up a little bit, give you a kind of a different look because I'm sick of seeing this head sculpt, right? It's kind of like the, the Roman Reigns top talent style head sculpt where we've seen it so many times before or the yelling Rollins head sculpt that they used forever and ever. So this is a way to, you know, just change it up a little bit, see if it works. If it doesn't work, you can throw it out. If it does work, you look amazing and you have a great looking figure. So Rey Mysterio is on the list as well. Another one, man, is going to be the Hoodie Randy Basic. The Hoodie Randy Basic, I would love to see what this head sculpt would look like on the Elite 90. Now, they may just be using the Elite 90 head and putting it on this Hoodie Basic. And if that is the case, then I guess you could scratch it. But it looks to be a little bit different. So I would like to see what that looks like. And I think that would be a really cool fix up right there really simple. I would love to see a cloth hoodie like this with our next Randy Orton Elite, by the way. I think that would be really dope, but just playing around with that head sculpt, seeing what that looks like. And another head sculpt that I'd like to see swapped is the Roman Basic. So, two different basic swaps here. This Roman Reigns head sculpt on this basic, I hope it stays this way. You guys can see the beard looks a little better. You got the pissed off Roman in the man bun, which is kind of what we got with the top picks, but this looks better to me. I think this has a better likeness. It has that, you know, that more pissed off tribal chief look, and I like this a lot. I cannot wait to see what this looks like in final production, and hopefully putting it onto our Elite will be really, really sweet. Another thing I'd love to see is, you know how, like, head swaps are really easy with Elites now? Popping those heads off of the Elite figures is really, really easy. They need to bring that same technology to the Basic figure. They need to bring that same energy to the Basics. That way you can get a Basic, get an Elite, and you can just head swap it with no trusty white hair dryer. Sorry, white trusty hair dryer. I'm sorry, but it would be really nice to just be able to go and be done with it, you know? So that's just something that I think would be really interesting. They may be moving towards that. I haven't heard that or anything, but having those head swaps really easy, like a Marvel Legends or another figure, is really nice to see it, you know, across Ultimates, Basics, Elites. Having the interchangeable heads would be really sweet. So the Roman Basic is also on my list, man. Moving on, we have AJ Styles Elite. The WrestleMania one, you guys know that we do have double jointed arms on this guy. Now this could be with anybody, really, but I would say pop open this torso and put the shoulders and arms into an Elite. Any AJ Styles Elite, right? So we finally have double jointed arms for AJ Styles, and we don't even have it in a wrestling ring gear. We have freaking like a promo gear or a random outside street fight match for this gear. So double jointed arms AJ is not going to work out here. So you're going to have to pop the torso open, switch the shoulders and arms into a different AJ Styles Elite. Anyone you want really because uh, the gloves can be interchangeable because these arms are interchangeable. So you could put black gloves in there. You could put the red gloves in there. You can try and play around with different glove colors or paint your own glove colors or even put the white ones from Rey Mysterio in there or something like that. So that could be something you do, but that is something you will have to do if you want to give your AJ Styles double jointed arms is you're going to have to crack the torso, switch the shoulders and arms, and I think that would be a pretty sweet fix-up. Now moving on along, guys, I was going to put Shawn Michaels' WrestleMania figure in here, but I realized that Shawn Michaels doesn't really have a head sculpt, man. All his head sculpts are pretty trash. Outside of maybe the WrestleMania Elite from WrestleMania 14 with the, you know, the red gear, that was a sweet figure. And then you have this figure, which I guess is probably the best older Shawn head sculpt for around this time period because it's the it's a repeat release of the Defining Moment Shawn Michaels head sculpt from Mania 25. So, and, and they didn't give it true effects. It's just kind of painted differently. And I don't know, that, like I tried to think of a cool one, but this is all I got. Just just leave it like it is, because I, I don't know what to tell you. They don't really have a great Shawn Michaels head sculpt. They've never really nailed his likeness outside of maybe one head sculpt that it doesn't fit this era. So I don't know what to tell you. The Shawn Michaels looks beautiful, but I would really like to see a new Shawn Michaels head sculpt or a string of head sculpts that we could use for this figure or other HBK fix-ups. Moving right along, guys. Vince McMahon build a figure. This really is any head swap. You could put any figure in here you want to see in a suit. Outside of maybe some shorter guys it probably won't work because Vince McMahon figures are tall as ish no lie but you could put a lot of different guys in the suited body so you know just get creative with it you could put your own self in the suited body if you wanted to but you could play around with it taller superstars you know maybe a Triple H or maybe you know like a taller guy like Drew McIntyre or Bobby Lashley or, or somebody like that could go in here switch out the hands you know do things like that that would be really awesome but Vince McMahon is another guy I wanted to put in the video and then one of the last figures we have, guys, is going to be the Legends Edge Elite. Now, this will be really sick to see you head swap this with some of the flashback edges that we've gotten. You have the SummerSlam Elite that comes to mind. You also have the Elite 13 Edge 
that also comes to mind in the blue gear. That head sculpt, like you think that was a great head sculpt back in the day, and then you compare it to this newer head sculpt, and you're like, what in the blue hell was I thinking? That really doesn't work. So that's kind of where I'm at right here. It's not a bad head sculpt, but seeing that head swap really fix up that edge, make it look great. I know a lot of people don't like to switch parts and stuff because it's like, you know, it kind of messes with my display, kind of makes the figure non-canon, you know, it kind of like messes up the figure because it's not factory like it came out of the packaging. But I think fixing up figures and stuff like that is some of my favorite things to do, you know, switching figures around and playing with parts and stuff. So I don't have a problem with the head swap, and I think it makes the figure come to life more on the shelf, right? Also, you could use this sick-ass edge coat on a bunch of different people for entrances, which is really beautiful to see. So you guys can play around with that. I don't really know a lot of guys that use the long trench coat like Edge. You guys can give me some options down below, maybe a Miz character or maybe something like that. But that's just the first one that came to my mind. Now, if we move right along, guys, the last one that I wanted to talk about was Omos or Omos or Omos. I call him Omos. This one's really difficult because you guys know this man is going to be massive. He is going to be a massive guy. And I honestly do not know what to do about his formula. Now, I was thinking probably an Undertaker, right? Like, I feel like Undertaker would probably be your best bet. He has the long pants. You know, you may can switch out his boots or something like that, play around with that. Uh, you know, to give him, like, some different-looking shoes, maybe, like, some Bray Wyatt boots or something to kind of give him that flat look. Uh, I really don't know outside of that. Like, the torso is going to have to be massive as well. It's very difficult to come up with a formula that's going to work for this guy completely. And you also have to get, you know, the right skin tone for the shoulders, for the arms, because I don't want to use the basic arms, right? You want to use some nice size arms and some nice size shoulder. Probably a Bobby Lashley Elite would probably be your best bet. Maybe you could get, like, a Bobby Lashley Elite 89 figure. Switch the legs with an Undertaker Elite to get the long pants look. And then you could put a cloth shirt on this guy, a cloth sleeveless shirt or something. Maybe uh, the Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy shirt or so. I don't know. I'm just kind of playing around with ideas, you know, kind of messing around. And you might could make something out of that, make that work. But those are just the things that are coming to my brain when I'm trying to think of a formula for this guy. Because, again, he's going to be massive. Like, he's going to be a big guy. And you want to get the height correct because that's part of Omos's character, right? You want to have that height. You want to have those good things going on. So that is something that I would definitely recommend, man. Make sure he is tall enough when you do this fix up. But Omos is the one that I wanted to finish off with, and I'm just kind of giving my thoughts and ideas. If you guys have a greater formula or a better formula, please let me know down in the comment section below. But that pretty much wraps up my fix-ups for the, the upcoming figures that we're going to get into 2022, man. Should be epic. Can't wait for these figures. There's plenty of other figures you might can fix up, but some of these figures didn't need it, right? Like the new KO, the new Sami Zayn, the new Austin Theory, like the new RVD even. Like some of these figures just don't need fix-ups really or nothing that's worth noting. Like maybe switching out the knee pads on the RVD, but who the hell wants to talk about that, Brad? So... That's kind of where I am, man, but that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like uh, some of these things that need to be fixed up, right? You cross the line, I've been beaten, boo!